Hey everyone, how's it going? For today's fun video, I'm going to be showing you how to draw an Easter egg surprise fold. So hope you follow along and enjoy this video today. Now to start off with our Easter egg surprise fold, let's begin by folding our paper in half. So I'm going to line up the corners like I'm making a birthday card, and then I'm just going to fold this in half. Next, I'm going to line up the corners one more time and give it another fold so it looks like a bookmark. Now when I open it up, I have these nice little guidelines in here that show me where I need to keep the inside of my drawing. And I always like to turn my paper this way so I can open up my surprise fold. Now to start off with this, we're going to make a nice big egg shape. So I'm going to start by making a tall half of an oval. So I'll begin right here, and I'm going to draw a line that's going to come up to a rounded point, and I'm going to bring this down. And then down here, I'm going to come down and bring this up like a big smiley face shape. Now right here, I'm going to make an eye. So I'm going to draw a circle for an eye. I'll leave some space and I'll make another circle for an eye right over here. Then I'll put a little black dot inside each one. I'll make a line across and then a big smiley face shape. Then we'll do a little sad face for the tongue. And you can go ahead and color in this part of the mouth just to make it pop out a little bit more. Now I'm going to make some little designs on here. So I'm just going to make some little wavy lines right across here for some stripes on my Easter egg. I'm going to jump down here and do the same thing. And then we'll add one more right here. So now we have some nice stripes on there. Now our next step is we want to open this up and work on the inside. Now after we have it open, we have two halves of our Easter egg. And I'm going to start at the top and I'm going to work my way, uh, or I'm going to start at the bottom and work my way up to the top. So the first thing is I want to draw an egg right here. So I'm going to begin by making a line that's going to come up and then down to here. And then right up here, I'm going to make a face. So I'm going to draw a little line that goes in and out like a sideways V. And I'll do one more here. Then I'll make a line across. And a nice big smiley face shape. We'll add a little line across there. And I'll color in the mouth. Just looks kind of like a little happy face. Next, let's continue with some stripes. So I'm going to go up and down, and then back up and down. And then I'll do the same thing here, just make a little stripe across there. Now, right over here, we're going to add just some kind of more egg shapes in here. So I'll go ahead and add an egg right here, kind of like a nice big oval shape. Then I'll put one over here will make a nice big shape. And when we bring this down, make sure you don't go past that fold. I'll make one that comes out right here. So we'll make one up here. And we're gonna try to make some of these different sizes too. I'll put a nice big tall one right here. We'll put a little smaller one here and another one over here. I'll draw one that's gonna come right here, and then another little tinier one up here. I'll make another big one coming out here, and then I'll put one that's gonna come right up here and then down. And then I'm gonna bring this these two lines right down here. Now over here I have room for another one. 
And I might even put one little small one right there. So there's so many different ways to put these little Easter eggs in here. Now, the next step is we want to connect this line up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue this pattern. I'm gonna stay away from the fold, just like that. Now we wanna add some different faces on here and there's so many different types you can do. You can make like little winking faces like this by doing a V with a little uh, circle. And then we can just give it that typical smiley mouth. You could make just little black dots for your eyes with a little mouth. You could put little dots and you can draw kind of like this cute kawaii mouth just like that. You can make little lines like this for eyes and then you can make a smile with a tongue by making a line that's going to come down and then back and then add some teeth. So there's all sorts of different ways you can add little eyes and stuff on here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add some different little faces on all of my little Easter eggs. Now, once you have faces all over your Easter eggs, then what you can do is starting to add some different little designs on here. And there's so many different things you can do. You could add things like polka dots onto your Easter eggs. So I can make like some big circle shapes like this. You could add little stripes on there that just kind of curve around. You can make wavy lines that come up and down. Almost kind of looks like a watermelon a little bit. Some of these I like to kind of do a little bit of a curved line that comes across here. There's so many things you can do. So next step is to just kind of go ahead and fill up your Easter eggs with lots of different designs on here. Now, after you have all of your designs on your Easter egg, the next step is I just like to add some small little eggs out here. So I'm just gonna put about five little Easter eggs that are just kind of, you know, flying out of here just to add some extra little detail. So we're just gonna make about five of these little oval shapes in here. And I'm not gonna put faces on any of these. We're just gonna make some of these little ones. And then I'm going to make some little designs on each one, just to add a little bit of detail and make these kind of fun. So we're just gonna put some little designs on there. And there you go, there is your drawing of a little Easter egg surprise fold. So when I have it all folded up, I've got my little Easter egg. And then when I open it, you can see there's actually a bunch of Easter eggs all popping out. And there you go. I'm going to fast forward and start coloring this. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.